Good evening and welcome to Golden Lion Basketball from the campus of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Your UAPB Golden Lions taking on Alcorn State here tonight. Starting lineup being unveiled as we speak. Alongside Carl Wimper, I'm Tim Stubbs. Glad to be with you here this evening. And Carl, you're going to have to, have to carry me uh, tonight. My voice is just about gone, and we had a great uh, overtime matchup in the first game here, in which UAPB lost in a heartbreaker, but it was a, a great ball game. Christina Lusane had 28, went into overtime, but uh, that one took a lot out of me, so I'm going to give it a shot here tonight as I'm battling some bronchitis and cold flu-like stuff that seems like half of America is going through right now. Nevertheless, uh, we got a good ball game here. UAPB come off of a four-point defeat against the number one team in the SWAC, Southern. And the Golden Lions have lost their last two games, and they're trying to get back on their winning track here tonight. Well, yeah, UAPB got off to a, a very slow start against Southern University last Saturday, Saturday night. But things picked up there in, in the second half, especially down the last five minutes. And I know Coach Ivory got his ball club back into the gymnasium. And one thing that the goal line's going to have to do tonight is reduce the amount of turnovers. They, they made far too many turnovers the other night. I believe something like about 10 turnovers. I'm sorry, almost 20 turnovers. So that's something that I know Coach Ivory it's really special his ball club because you can't turn the ball over that many times and expect to come out with a victory. Yeah, a special uh, pet band here tonight. Uh, our top cam here this evening, uh, William A. Lawson up top. He was a solo camera operator in the first game. We do have Brandon Miner, our good buddy from Mass Communications and football player who's a senior, and he'll be uh, helping us out with one of our lower uh, underneath the goal cams here tonight. Opening tip's gonna go to Alcorn State. With that, we are underway. We also have a special uh, pep band here this evening. I believe that's Jack Ruby Jr. Yep. High School. I'm looking at those colors there, Alcorns in the, in the yellow, and UAP yep. in, in the light gold. Yeah, so. I'm surprised they let them do that. Yeah. Usually, I think they thought UAPB maybe would be in the home white, yeah. but it would, it would be better off if UAPB was in the black, really. But we'll see if they make them change maybe <laughs> at one point in the game. There's a long three-point shot up, no good by Octavius Brown. Rebound pulled down by Hammond. He'll bring it ahead for UAPB in the opening possession for the Golden Lions. No score, just underway. First minute of the ball game. Backdoor lob, going for the jam and missing out was Davon Haynes. Good idea, but they were off by just a tick. Yeah, I talked about turnovers. That's you know, that's a very costly one right there. And like you said, it's a good idea, but Tevin just overthrew it. All cool with the basketball. They want to do the backdoor lob, and they miss it as well. So both teams, same idea, and both teams missing out. Here's Hammond again. Left side to Mosley. Also, Broughton, Haynes, and Robinson starting 5 for UAPB. Top of the key, Mosley, now left side to Hammond in the lane. Kicks out Mosley. Thought about the shot, now he's in the lane and a tough pass to Haynes off the glass, score it. Nice little cut to the basket there by Haynes. He's got those long arms and was able to well, kiss it off the glass. Haynes is a good slasher, so uh, UAPB is coming out in that, in that same zone defense they were in the other night, that 2-3 zone defense. Both teams are playing the zone. Alcorn State is in 1-3-1 one, one zone. Trapping in the corner and a little contact and one. It'll be a chance for a three-point play for Marius Miles. And that's Davon Haynes' game reminds me a lot of William Bird. Neither one of them really great shooters, but slashers, long, kind of a rubber band man type of player and can do a little bit of everything. But he's very, very, uh, he, you know, he's, he's just lift. He's very athletic and... He's probably Jaylen the best Floyd. jumper in, 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 on, on the ball club, but he's, a, Braves, he's one heck of a ball player. Yeah, there Haynes is, is one of the top finishers in the conference uh, around the rim, no question about it. And Jalen Floyd is in the ball game. Javante Robinson is out. Missing the free throw was Miles, so UAPB's got it. 2-2 two, two our score. 
Wide open three, left side for Haynes, no good. Hammond the rebound, gets his shot blocked from behind by Evans and Alcorn comes away with it. Vance has it, now Evans will set it up. Screen by Miles. We're working around the perimeter here. Left side to Vance. Cross court pass, tipped, Evans gets it back. Now in the corner to Brown for three and he hits. <laughs> Five to two, our score. Here's Haynes, triple drive, now gets trapped, gets it to Hammond. Broughton, turn around 15, footer is good. Boy, that soft touch, as good as any big man in the conference at that 15 footer. Right there at the elbow, he, like I said, he, he's really developed that outside shot. And he can knock it down anywhere from 15, 18 feet. Well, that's cash money from that part of the court, no doubt about it. Five to four. One point ball game early on here. Three minutes in. Down low, shot up, partially blocked. Raquel missed it. Last touch by Mosley in transition. That's going to be a turnover. Injury for the Braves, number 15, Leantuan Luckett. One Hanging thing about Coach Ivory, especially in the first half, Tim, he does a lot, a lot of substitutions. He's going to keep and fresh players in. He Sabbath. might go as four as ten players deep in the first half. Here's Luckett just into the ball game. Nice pass down low. Brown trying to get it to Raquel and lost out. Last touch by UAPB and Trent Whiting who just checked into the ball game. Got his hand on it. There's George Ivory. Evans on the inbound. Trap coming our way. Vance saves it. Evans has set it up top of the key zone defense here by UAPB. Savage is in the ball game and he almost came up with a steal there. They got a trap in the corner. In the lane, Luckett off the glass, no good. Raquel misses the jam and loose basketball out of bounds in the UAPB sideline. And Last touch by the Golden Lions. It's going to be all corn basketball. Entering for UAPB number three, Davon Hayes. Well, Alcorn State is finding a, a gap inside that 2 3 zone defense that the Golden Lions are playing. It's down inside the paint. That's one thing that Coach Aaron has gotten Jalen Floyd out of the ball game and he's put back in Devon Hayes. So he's trying to find the right combination to, <laughs> to seal up that void that Alcorn has, has found somewhere down in the paint. Brown for three again, and he connects from the right wing. Octavius Brown, 6'8", 210, a junior out of Brandon, Mississippi. East Mississippi Community College hit back-to-back -back triples from the same spot. And a timeout on the floor, it's 8-4 to four, Alcorn. They're a long, lengthy team, this Alcorn bunch. Well, you, you look at uh, Octavius Brown, 6'8", 210 pounds. Like I say, out of Brandon, Mississippi, he's leading the this ball club in scoring. He, he, he's averaging 10 and a half points on the season, but he's, he's also the lead rebounder with a six point six average. Yeah, early in this ball game, just like Sarah tonight, like Sarah tonight, UAPB has gotten off to a slow start offensively. And Really trying to find their, their true identity. Now, on the road, Tevin Hammond has been pretty much the go to guy in terms of running the point guard position and putting up points. But, but so far, you know, Hammond is, is pretty much he's, he's scored us tonight. And the four points, UAPB's only gotten four points in about four minutes of play. So that's one thing they got improved on in trying to find somebody to step up to the plate and knock down some shots. Set to resume play here in just a moment. And just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, you have about 13 minutes to purchase yeah, your 50 dress dressed out no purple also make a donation to the sneakers. Drive. Yep, fashionable. UAPB's got the same ones, they're just white. 
Oh, that should have been a foul right there on Raquel. No call. The lob, the jam. Nope, missed it for a foul. Nice idea, and they're already talking. <laughs> you got two big guys down there, Haynes and Raquel, who <laughs> are similar type of players, and you can see that's already going to be a, a battle tonight. It, it really is. First shot coming up for Davon, and it's too strong, no good. Injury for Allborn State would be number 10. Devontae Hampton, also in number 40, Josh Hill's going to come out and they just replace him with another big seven footer. Josh Nichols comes in, 6'10 <laughs> out, seven foot in. <laughs> they, are, they are long, man, I'm telling you. And it's good. You got. Vance at 6'7", you got Brown at 6'8", 6'10", and a 7-footer. I mean, they have got some size now. 8-5 to five after second free throw is good by Haynes. The goal line is known to stop the, the trapping defense off a of made free throw. Hampton to Brown. They're working around the perimeter here, the zone defense. Hampton, left side to Brown. Top of the key. Well, Vance has it, seven on the shot clock. Brown will rise and fire, and this time finally misses. And hit his last two threes, and he missed that one. UAPB's got it, down by three, five minutes into the ball game here, eight to five. Now, all corn State's going to a two-three zone. Also, it came out of the one-three-one. One. It's gonna be a foul on Luckett. The bump there as oh, Mosley was going by. That will be his first personal second team. Not sure. We, did we have our first media timeout yet? Yes, we did. I guess we talked through it. <laughs> we did. Okay. I, I'm a little off tonight. I've told you. I'm a little out of it. So I missed the media break. We talked through it. So stay with us uh, the next 12-minute mark. There's that another on foul the on Vance. the floor. His first personal third team foul. And that one's on... Not sure. Marquise Vance is who it was on. Here's Broughton again, and this time in and out, no good. And had a good look at it and wouldn't go down. But so far, UAPB is just absolutely cold from the field. Luck it. Left side, Vance puts it on the floor, and oh, that's a touchy foul there on Savage. My goodness. Yeah, it really is. Uh, uh, guess he, maybe he, I don't know. I didn't Follow see it. You know, Chandler, yeah, I didn't just wasn't much is, there. And his first personal second team. From our angle, I didn't see a whole lot. Well, that was a real touchy foul. Mm. According to Coach Ivory, he's one of the better defensive ball players of his team. He's out of Pine Lope High School, 6'3", 185 pounds. I'm talking about Chandler, Chandler Savage, rather. That's right. Vance, pump fake. He'll take the 18-footer, no good, and there is Savage boxing out, gets the rebound, he'll push it ahead. Hammond, they're working around, long three by Mosley, yes sir! Mosley from about 25 feet out, hits the long three from the left wing. Yeah, he's almost right there at the, at the, at the tip of the Lions' mane there. <laughs> that was a yeah, deep court. three, yeah. yes sir. Ties it up at eight. Kick out, Hampton, he'll take the three and banks it in. Yikes, let it go. 11 to eight. Mosley, he'll take another 25 footer and hits again. Are you kidding me? Two threes beyond NBA range and he drains both of them. He has excellent range. He was a heck of a guard, shooting guard for, for the Marion High Papers there in Northeast Arkansas. He was an all-stater. Coach Iris has been hounding that kid since day one. Tied at 11. Couple of long-range bombs there by Marcel Mosley. They're going to have to extend that defense yeah. out on him as he's showing some, some major, major range. The lob off the glass, no good. Tried to get the seven-footer. 
Here's Mosley in transition. The blow by and the layup. That was too sweet. Mosley with maybe his best offensive sequence since being a gold lion. You're Two right threes in a row and a layup. That is instant offense. 8-0 run by Mosley, and UAPB leads 13-11. Well, he's lightning quick. When, whenever he's in the ball game with Hammond. Hampton he, misses that uh, three and battle for it on the floor, and somehow Alcorn comes up with it. That's a walk. They missed it. And a slip there on the floor. Luckett down low, going up for the jam as Brown. He's fouled by Broughton. But a lot of action early on in this one is got a nice flow to it in the last couple minutes. Well, that, that offense that UAP was searching for, I think the goal line was found to Marcel Mosley. But as I was saying, that when Mosley and Hammond's in the ball game, Hammond is, is really the true point guard. But when the two are playing, Marcel moves to the point and Hammond goes to the shooting guard. Very entertaining last couple of minutes here as. And in for the Brown hits free throw. One more coming up. Robinson. And we're tied at 13 after the free throws. Some pressure here. Robinson back in. Cross court pass too high into the student section behind us. Tied at 13. We'll have a media break on the next dead ball. Working around the perimeter here. Taking their time. Evans, top of the key. Oakley now to Brown, and Brown has eight in the game Lucky as he hits the 15-foot jumper. The yeah, Alcorn's got his points basically Inside the paint on that 2-3 zone that the goal lines is utilizing. Robinson in the corner, misses the three. The one and done there, and good hands by Mosley, knocks it out of bounds. Going to stay with Alcorn, but we'll have our first media timeout of the ball game, or for us anyway. 11-19 to play. First half, 15-13, two-point lead for Alcorn over UAPB right back in just a moment. Tim Stubbs, Carl Wepper, with 11-19 to go in the first half. 15-13 our score, all corn by two with a basketball. As we resume play here. I was talking to one of the officials tonight, Frank Jordan, who's, who's a, uh, also an NBA official, worked nine years in the NBA. He works the SEC, Big Ten. Uh, he works just about wherever he wants to work. A little floater in the lane yeah, by Luckett. Luckett. 17-13 now, four-point lead for the Alcorn State Braves. Hammond with the basketball, left side of the floor, has his dribble in the lane, kicks it out to Mosley. Little hook pass here to Broughton. He tried to get it to Hammond, and he loses it out of bounds. Well, out of that timeout, Alcorn State switched up to a man-to-man -man defense, and they got a spy on Marcel Mosley. They've seen enough of his three-point bombs, I guess. Oakley, gotta luck it. Luck it, little circus layup uh -huh. goes, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, an acrobatic circus shot in the lane. He's got four in a row, and just like that, 6-0 run, and Alcorn has taken a 19-13 lead. Wide open underneath. Broughton's going to get called for steps. Kind of got bumped there at the last second and it made him shuffle his feet as he hesitated he just, a, yeah, just a touch. That's where you'd like to just see him turn around and just throw it down real quick. Yeah. 
He kind of hesitated kinda, just, a, just a little slight bit, and it, it messed his timing up. Yeah, just a little undecided on what he really wanted to do. Here's a three by Oakley. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. Mosley comes away with it in transition, gets picked. Luckett goes up for the jam, and Hammond gives him the playoff foul. Just a, just a, just a hard foul, just a basketball. Uh, Alcorn State coaching staff doesn't feel oh, that way. 14, Hammond, it was a hard foul. His first personal 14 foul. But he did go for the ball. Yeah. Not a fragrant one of anything. Two just, two for all as long as you don't hit them in the, the face or head and you yeah, go for the basketball, yeah. they're going to just say it's just a good hard foul. It's a good, just a good hard basketball foul. And this veteran officiating crew, they, they're kind of they're a little... A little cocky, these these officials here tonight. <laughs> I'm watching them. Kind of got a little some little smiles on their faces, communicating with one another, and they kind of got a little game within the game going themselves. I'm I'm, I'm taking note of that, Carl. <laughs> kind of watch these these officials here. Like well, they, some, they've done a few games together you, before. You got some veteran guys, like I said, Frank Jordan. Uh, he, he's subject to see him in a couple weeks doing a Miami Heat basketball game. Oh. One free throw is good. The next is no good. 20 to 13. UAPB down seven. Here's Savage. A little floater off the glass. Missed it. Halfway down, he came out. Luck at the blow by on Robinson. And he makes another tough layup. And that gets the all corn bench up and cheering. And right now, UAPB does not have an answer for Lantuan Luckett. He is putting on a show right now. He is a tough customer to, to handle. He says he's just got seven, but all seven right must have came in the last the two minutes. <laughs> well, he was, he was held scoreless. Early, you, you might be thinking he had seven in the last, the last few minutes. Uh, he's very athletic and explosive off the bounce. And this was a, a tied at 13. That's a 9-0 run here by Alcorn, and they lead 22 to 13. Nine twenty-eight to play before halftime. Three-point shot for Robinson, no good. Offensive rebound, stick back, Savage. They didn't put a body on him, and he makes some pay for the offside rebound, stick back. Yeah, you're right about that. No one put a body on him. That'll get a coach matter than anything right there. And Savage is really, he's really a heads-up ball player. A good defensive player. Vance hits the 12-footer off the left elbow. Marquise Vance. 24-15. All court with a nine point lead. Hammond to Haynes, down to Hammond again. Need some help. Mosley, they're working around here. 10 on the shot clock, cross court to Robinson. Robinson drives baseline. It's bump, no call. And Davon Haynes sticks with it and cleans it up and gets the basket. Yeah, Coach Average is kind of working the officials over because he thought there that was all There was some contact yeah, there. I agree was, with him. He thought it was a foul. He was upset. I talked to Coach Ivory moments before the game, and he was upset about the last two games, matter of fact, and he talked to the conference about some of the officiating. He's not happy with it. Good hands inside by Hammond. Lost out. Last touch by UAPB. Got a media timeout. We'll step aside here with 7.58 to play before halftime. 24-17, Alcorn leads UAPB by seven. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. 
Welcome back. And just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, it's to go. too late to get to a 50- 50-50 raffle tickets, a few minutes remaining. 24-17, seven point lead for Alcorn with the basketball. Look at the inbound it. Tipped, coming right at us. Got it, right off our monitor. So yeah, we have the best seat in the house right here. This is, we're in the action. Best seat in the house, but, but the actual seats are not the best seat in the house. You're right about that. <laughs> those courtside seats. Those courtside seats are plush. They're nice. It's the way to go, folks. I sat in earlier in the ball game uh, during the uh, warm-ups, and they are really nice. Three-pointer was no good. Robinson is 0 for 3 from downtown, so Alcorn gets it back, leading by 7. Seven and a half to go before halftime. Evans to Lockett, they're working around the perimeter here, top of the key, zone defense by UAPB. Lockett, rise and fire, and misses, and gets his own rebound. And a nice pass, and missing the layup. Underneath was Miles, and UAPB comes away with it. Yeah, the goal unfortunately got a break right there. Savage passes it up. Go Lions, going cold. Step back, 18-footer is good. Haynes knocks it in. 24-19, UAPB puts the lead down to five. Trailed by as many as nine. Vance for three, no good. Rebound, Mosley's got it in transition. Savage out of control and throws it away. Numbers here for Alcorn, the lob, the jam. That time it was Luckett to Octavius, Octavius Brown, Brown who shows the Gold Lions what the business is there. They knew they had three on one, and that's how you yeah. execute a break. 26-19, seven point lead for Se Alcorn. Sepp is getting ready to come out of the ball game yeah, too. And out of control uh, turnover there. Here's Haynes off the bounce. And he's gonna be bumped on the way to the basket by Brown. First on Brown, Luckett is going to check out for a moment too. So Savage is out. And Hammond's also out. Checking in for the first time for UAPB. And for the Golden Lions, number 30, Jordan Brown. And number 10. Jordan Brown. Trent Jeffries. And Trent Jeffries. Yeah, Jeffries is a fresh amount of Gulfport, Mississippi. He's a really a, a red shirt freshman. And Jordan Brown, he's out of Augusta. 26-19, here's Mosley to Haynes. Shot up, a little too strong in the lane, no good. All corn up seven with the ball, five and a half to go before halftime. Ball tipped, stolen mostly. He's got it coming the other way with it in transition. Jeffries for three. You can see that was just too strong, maybe a little too amped up. Timeout called by Alcorn. 30 yeah. second timeout. Yeah, Jeffries didn't draw iron there. So. Alcorn State. You can't even see, you can't say iron unkind, right? <laughs> Old Tim Brando. Glass unkind. You know, Mar Marcel Mosley had the hot hand and scored some seven in a row, and he really hasn't looked for a shot since that time. Yeah, the goal line of the field, Tim, trying to find... They're trying to find out where the offensive production is going to come from. At times, Devon, Devon Hayes, he's shown flashes of being having the ability to score points and then Marcel Mosley, but yeah, it's ball club now, because when you look out on the court now, you have to look for the scoring to come from Mosley and Haynes. Just over five minutes to play. Seven point lead for Alcorn here. Right before halftime, cross court pass to Hampton. Evans passes up to three, ball faked by Vance, now out to Morris for three, or Brown rather, misses it, had a wide open look. He was hot early on, missed his last couple. 
Here's Haynes in the lane, dump off pass, gets deflected, stays with it. Set it up with Mosley out high. Jeffries holds his dribble, nowhere to go, 10 on the shot clock. Haynes kicks it out to Jeffries. Back to Haynes inside, and gonna have a charge. Wave off the basket. Hey, it's like the goal line just couldn't get anything going on on that series there, Tim. It's just a lot of, they just really undecided, undecided who's, gonna, who's gonna take the ball to the hole. Seems like UAPB's been stuck on that 19 points for the last couple of minutes here. Almost four minutes left here. First half, 26-19, seven point lead for Alcorn with the basketball. Luckett. Working around the perimeter. Luckett, strong drive, kisses it off the glass, score it and one, gets the block and that's gonna get George Ivory furious on his end of the court. They get the charge and wave off the basket. Now, the here on the other hand, Alcorn gets the blocking the call and the bucket is good. So that's going to draw the ire of one George Ivory. We'll step aside with the media timeout here. Just under four to go before halftime. It's 28-19, nine-point lead for Alcorn. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. Twenty-eight, nineteen, nine-point lead when for fishes, Alcorn. One of the officials uh, talked to Bunte Hayes about the white jersey, the white T-shirt underneath the jersey. The basket was Fashion police. I think it's supposed to be the same color, something like that. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Marcel Mosley's got a white on too, but it's you can't see it that well. But who knows? Yeah. Ten point game as the free throw is good by Luckett. He's having a good half. Jeffries, down to Robinson, Robinson, the move, the pass to Haynes, here's Brown, he'll take the jumper at the foul line, miss it, keeping it alive was Haynes, spin move, gets a shot blocked, and coming the other way with it is Luckett off the glass, score it, boy, in transition, he is a beast. Yeah, Luckett. Haynes has to be very, very careful too, he has those two fouls, you don't, you don't want to get him a, get a cheap third foul, here in the last three minutes. I like Luckett's game. He is aggressive and... Here's Haynes, a little floater and then blocked by the big seven footer. And here's Luckett on a run out against Mosley. And this time, Mosley gets the best of him and lost out of bounds, gonna stay with Alcorn, but Mosley doing a nice job getting back on defense. Lions, 14, Tevin but right now, Alcorn got UAPB in disarray a bit. A 12-point lead now for the Braves. That's their largest of the game. Also in for the Golden Lions, number 44, Daniel Broughton. Yeah, Coach Ivers getting a little more height in there with bringing in Broughton. So in the in the front court, you have, court, you have Haynes and Broughton. Vance <laughs> trying to lob it to Nichols, the big seven-footer. Tipped away and stolen. Here's Haynes in transition now. Tipped up in the air, stolen again. Evans has it, two on two. Now they'll hold up. Wait on the rest of the Braves to get down the court here. Some, just some costly turn, the turnover by the goal line. Evans on top of the key. Screen. Luckett's got it, picked up by Mosley. This zone here, gonna go one-on-one. -on -one. 
Luckett, 15 footer, is good. Gets the roll, it's spun out and went right back in. Uh, UAPB is going into a real tough scoring drought. Luckett now with 12 first half points to lead the way. Nice pass inside, Brown or Davon Haynes. What what they call there? Travis? Travis. Nothing going right for UAPB right now. Yeah. 33 19, a 14 point lead for Alcorn. And this game is getting get away from you quickly. Well, when you look at the UAPB players on the court, they're just shaking their heads and you know, Hammond, Mosley, and Haynes, they're just shaking their heads like, you know, what, what's going wrong? 146 left here in the first half. Vance, top of the key, they work it back to Evans. Brown, nice dump down low, good ball movement here. Luckett in the lane, another circus layup, this time deflected, lost out of bounds off of Luckett. As yeah. he looks at the official and doesn't like the call. This is Cage and Luckett trying to do too much. One twenty left before halftime. Here's Mosley. Need some help. Nice move on the baseline in the corner. Hammond thought about the three. Mosley in the lane. Nice pass. Broughton down low. Misses the layup. Had a good look at it. And couldn't get it to go down. Okay, with the goal lines can't find any kind of scoring. Under a minute to play now in the first half. 33-19. As a matter of fact, UAPB's been stuck on that 19 for the last four and a half minutes. This 14-point lead, the largest of the game for Alcorn. Well, a steal here by Hammond. And he's going to be fouled, and he'll shoot two. Twenty-nine seconds left. Foul is on number ten, Devontae Hampton. His first personal fifteen foul. Shooting two for the Golden Lions, number fourteen, Tevin Hammond. Well, Hammond is a seventy-six percent free throw shooter on 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 this season. This could be a couple of big free throws here. First shot is good, is good for Hammond. This gets UAPB off the 20, off the 19 mark. Makes it 33 to 20, 29 seconds left before halftime. Missing the second free throw was Hammond, so Alcorn can hold for the last shot up by 13. Alcorn looks much improved from a year ago. As UAPB has had their way with them over the past five or six seasons, but Alcorn has improved tremendously. They got some good looking athletes on this team. Down to four seconds here. Vance, step back three block. Now mostly from half court. Off the front of the rim. And that's gonna end the first half of play as we head to the locker room. 33 to 20, a 13 point lead for Alcorn here, and UAPB's got a long way to go and one half to get there. We'll step aside, halftime, 13 point lead for Alcorn. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where the ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready for a second half action, and the Golden Lions will start with possession. Welcome back here as we start the second half of play. Tim Stubbs, Carl Wimper, and got a whistle and 
What do we have here, Carl? We're just underway in the second half, and already a stoppage in play. UAPB is going to get it back a foul on Alcorn. It's 33-20. Uh, to 20. First Terrible first half for UAPB. The yeah, Octavius Brown just got that second personal foul there. Robinson for three. Off the mark, no good. And those players for UAPB that had the white shirts on underneath have changed those or taken them off. Alcorn with the basketball. Leading by 13 here in the opening minute of the second half. Luckett, Evans. There's Brown attacking the zone, gets the foul off the glass, no good, will shoot two. I don't see like Brown ball. leaning the broad, but be a first that's, that's Daniel Broughton's second, second personal foul. Shooting two for the Braves will be number 35, Octavius Brown. First shot is good for Brown, who's got 13 now in the ball game. It'll lead the way for all scores. And gets the second one. So the largest lead of the game here, 15 for Alcorn. Still plenty of time left, just one minute in the second half, but Golden Lions not looking very good right now. Here's Haynes, he gets the foul and he's gonna shoot two free throws. And boy, that Stefan Raquil, he is you. long as that was on number two. Yeah, yeah. My goodness, he's long. Alcorn State really second. has some length. They, Personal foul, second team foul. You're right, they are a much the improved the team from a year ago. In the first half, UAPB was only two out of four from the three throw line. And the Golden Lions shot a miserable 36% from the floor in the first half, only made eight out of 22 shots. Haynes misses the first one. He hits the second. And it's good. Thirty-five, twenty-one, fourteen-point lead for Alcorn here. Eighteen forty-seven to go. Just underway here in the second half. Brown will take the jumper, and this time no go from the foul line. And as Hammond was coming up the court, Luckett was able to steal it. And then they got a break going the other way. The lob from Luckett to Raquel, and he lays it off the glass and draws the foul. Everything going right for Alcorn right now, and everything going wrong for UAPB. You're right about that. They just, they've just really gotten off to a very slow start. And at one time, Marcel Mosley gave them a little spurt with a 7-0 run. But from that point on, UAPB really hasn't been able to gather anything offensively. And for the Golden Lions, we have number 21. Savage. Three point play after the free throw is good. So 38 to 21, all of a sudden that's a 17 point game. Savage back to Haynes. Haynes gets the basket and almost looked like it should have been an and one. Assist Chandler Savage. The goal lines are stealing it. it. 2-3 zone defense. Kick out, Luckett, nice pass. Vance spots up for three, no good. And Haynes up high for the rebound. Good ball moving by Alcorn. Mosley, the ball fake. The foul, the shot, they waved the shot off. Wow. It was in the act of shooting, I don't understand that. But foul is on the floor, and it's number 21, Stephon Raquel. George Ivory looking on here. You. Entering for all I thought they were, he was in the front, he was in the act of shooting. Yeah, I didn't get that, but nice pass on the inbound, no good, but there to follow up and duck it home as Daniel Broughton 
That was a nice play as he rises up and throws it down. Maybe that'll get him going. Now what UAPB needs now is a, is a good defense to stop. Kick out. Here's Brown, good ball fake. He goes up with one hand and he throws it down with authority. And then we got a, is it a technical? A delay of game warning or something. Delay of game warning. Delay of game warning on Alcorn after the dunk. When Alcorn players slapped the ball out of bounds. 40 to 25, 15 point lead for Alcorn. Just over 17 minutes to go. Inside Broughton, good ball fake goes up, gets it blocked, stays with it. Now he'll go to the foul line for a couple of free throws, but he's been more active lately. He really has that. Foul is on number 40. You know, I just think that Josh Hayes and Broughton on the It'll inside is going to have to be the, the two three, players that's going to have to get this UAPB team two, jump started. Because the goal line is really not hitting anything from outside. As a matter of fact, they're, no they're, good, they're not number 10, doing very well from the free throw line. In the first half, the Golden Lions only went to the, to the line twice, four times rather than made two. And so far, they're one out of three here in the second half. Mm, that's both of them. There's Vance, top of the key, Luckett. Back to Vance, good ball, a good drive and ball fake and then missed the shot right side. UAPB's got it going the other way. Mosley, step back three, right wing, in and out no good as he hit the floor. George Ivory wanted a foul call right in front of the UAPB sideline and couldn't get it. Looked like a clear foul too. Luck it, the lob inside, blocked from behind, and UAPD's got it. Tried to get it to the big seven footer, and Haynes wouldn't have it. Inside, Broughton gets it blocked by Nichols, but staying with it, sticking it home Devon. is Devon Haynes. Got a whistle and a charge on Luck it, as he was a little out of control there. And Luck is questioning, he's questioning he the thought, call, but. He thought Mosley was moving, but he kind of lowered his shoulder into it. Media timeout. 40-27, our score, 13 point lead for Allcorn. It'll be UAPB basketball when we come back with 15-49 to go. million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Right. Welcome back, folks. 15:49 to play. 40 to 27, UAPB down 13. Trail by as many as 17 at one point. But starting to carve into that big lead now. Down 13 with the ball. Here's Hammond, driving and now throwing it away. Alcorn's got it. Too many turnovers. It's too far too many turnovers. The Golden Lions had nine turnovers in the first half compared to four for Alcorn State. You know, in the game against Southern Saturday night, UPB had 10 turnovers in the first half. Down low, Nichols, blocked from behind by Savage. UAPB's got it going the other way. Hammond, maybe should have taken that shot. Mosley, be a hand check there on Oakley. That was on number two, Twan Oakley. That would be his first personal, 16-5. Entering for the Braves, will be number 23, Marius Miles. 
Also number 35, Octavius Brown. Once again, you have Hammers and Moses in the ball game together. And Moses serving as the point guard. Mosley misses it inside, and the follow-up by Haynes wouldn't go, and last touch by UAPB out of bounds. Fourteen forty and counting. It's kind of a quiet crowd too. The crowd, the crowd hasn't gotten into the ball game. Hadn't been a whole lot to cheer about. Thirteen point lead for Alcorn. Three point shot is nothing but net from the right wing by Twan Oakley. Twan Oakley. Six six senior from Macon, Mississippi, out of Mississippi State, a transfer. Here's Haynes spinning in the lane, going up and tied up or fouled. Let's see, they're going to have the foul on Oakley. And two shots coming up for Haynes. Foul is on number two, Twan Oakley, the second personal 17 foul. Shooting two for the goal. The Golden Tim, they're going to have to start knocking down some of those free throws. Way too many miss. Yeah, Haynes was one out of two in the first half. And one out of two in the second half from the year of the strike. Yeah, and the first free throw is good. Now four of eight overall from the foul line of the Golden Lions as the first shot is good. And the second one falls through. It is through. good. Stoppage in play here. Substitution, I believe. Forty-three, twenty-nine. UAPB is just one good run away from getting back in this, but Alcorn just not letting them get into any kind of a flow or any kind of a run. Here's Brown attacking it, kick out Oakley for three again. Yes, two in a row for Oakley. Yeah, he got to, he's out of Melrose High, Melrose High School there in Memphis. Six four, hundred eighty-five pounds, small forward. Savage passes up the shot. Lee is ballooned back up to 17. Here's Haynes, a tough runner. Right they side goes. Yeah, tough shot. The Golden Lions going to have to make some defensive stops. 46-31. 15 point lead for Alcorn here. Nice steal by Mosley. Flashing forward in the lane. Kicks it ahead, Brown wasn't ready for it. And Mosley, kind of a back shoulder pass to him there, made it di very difficult on him to catch it. Here for the Braves will be number five, Anthony Evans. And George Ivory not very happy with that pass by Mosley and gets him out of the ball game. Well, you know, George wasn't ready for the ball. Also in for the Golden Lions, number 15. Trent, Trent Whiting White. is in and Brown is out. Also entering for the Braves, number 30, Marquise Vance. Twelve fifty to go. Fifteen point lead here for Alcorn. Cross court pass, and that's right into the VIP seating area and out of bounds. Two former Golden Lions who played on the 2010. Yeah, I guess they deserve to sit over there, right? <laughs> Alex Smith. Two, and two key players. Yeah. On the so NCAA. Townsend, yeah. yeah. Townsend and Smith sitting over there. Yeah, it's, we'll, allow, we'll allow that, right? <laughs> That's one of your highlights of the U of your it was, basketball. Yeah, it was. It's at the top of the list. 46-31 as another turnover. Well, you never know when you get, you may not get a chance to experience something like that ever again. Yeah. And we've had some good teams since then, but hadn't been back. And it's just 
May not takes, go back. Takes a lot of good playing and, and a lot of luck. Yeah, you got to have a lot of things go your way. Forty-six, thirty-one. Vance gets it picked from behind. That ball is corralled by Vance, and now he needs some help as he's trapped. He finally gets it to Evans. Three to shoot. Rise and fire misses the shot, and the rebound and stick back is there for Oakley. Oakley. And I'm telling you, everything going Alcorn's way. Yeah, you're right about that. Alcorn's getting the loose ball. They're coming up with the offensive rebound. Right now, they're just outplaying UAPB. Haynes misses the jumper, top of the key. And a quick rebound for Alcorn. 11-15 and counting, and Alcorn in control by 17. As they have dictated the pace here, They've been in full control of this game since about the 10 minute mark of the first half. And a timeout called by Alcorn here. We'll have a media timeout coming up in a minute. Timeout, Alcorn State. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss it. It's Home Runs and Heroes, Thursday, January 30th at the Governor's Mansion in Little Rock. Governor Mike DB along with Major League Baseball <laughs> All-Stars Tory Hunter of the over Detroit here. Tigers and Cliff Lee of the Philadelphia Phillies well, will be on hand to meet and greet all the NTDs. That's the PA announcer, Laron Marbley, is announcing this that the auction will take place featuring Home the Heroes, Detroit Tigers Torrey game Hunter. in Detroit, yeah, I'd like to go to that. Yeah. dinner with Tory Hunter and an all-star package from Tory Hunter and, and Cliff, Lee. Cliff Lee. Also, a special jury item designed exclusively as a matter of fact, by Cliff Lee, who's got a bin brand of bin. Better get it right. They don't like each other. It's a big rivalry. It's bet. It's bet. Edu yeah. He's really turned into a Make your plans to attend all star now. pitcher in the major league. Oh, yeah. 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 He's bounced around a few teams, went from the Phillies to everywhere. Yeah. He started off with the Indians. He spent a, spent a minute with Seattle, with the Rangers. Now he's with back. Philadelphia. And making north of 20 million a year and doing just fine for himself. Yeah, and Tory Hunter started off with the Minnesota Twins. Angels and now Tigers, and he's doing very well for himself. Yeah. He's had a very, very good career. Here's the inbound. 10.58 to play. 17 point lead for Alcorn with the basketball. Evans, tough shot off the glass, no good. Whistle and a foul. This one's going to go against Alcorn, and now we'll have a media timeout, I believe. So we'll step aside here with 10.51 to go. And Alcorn leading 48 to 31. Be right back in a moment. Now it's time for This Week in Bad Stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 260. That's how many runs were walked in with the bases loaded last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's the number of kids who witness bullying. Three out of four. Not a good stat. No, it's not, but that can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. You can visit StopBullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at StopBullying.gov. Right here. 10.51 to go. UAPB's got some work to do. Down 48-31. And it starts at the free throw line. Yeah, it does. And they miss it. Check Up that. high one for the one. rebound. A one and one there. And snatching it off the, the iron there was Octavius Brown. And a quiet crowd. Alcorn has dictated the pace. That was a kind of a cheap foul that the Hammond picked up. 
And in for the Golden Lions, number 10, Trent Jeffries. Luck it. Boy, explosive. He'll go to the line for two shots as he flies right down the heart of the lane. And he is a good looking athlete. He really is. 6'4, uh, 185 pounds of sophomore out of Richland, Mississippi, right there in the suburbs of Jackson. In and out, no good. He's just a sophomore. In for the Golden Lions, we have number 30, Jordan Brown. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty good beard for a sophomore. I would say so. Did you have a beard like that when you were 19? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. 48-31, he does miss the free throws. About the only thing that he hadn't done right tonight. Kick ball that are well, when they you used to reset the shot clock on a kick ball, but yeah. I don't guess they do that anymore. Well, when you look at this Alcorn State team on the floor. Whiting uses his body and gets the Trent. basket. Whiting. Alcorn has a lot of length out there. 48-33. Top of the key, Evans. Oh, good hands, almost a tie up, but they get the reach in on Jeffries. And that was number 10, Trent Jeffries. His first person, 15 foul. And for the Golden Lions, number 14, Tevin Hammond. Hammond back in for Jeffries. 9.51 to go. Here's Brown, the inbound. He missed it. Luckett keeps it alive. Boys everywhere. See, so Alcorn is coming up with all the offensive rebounds. Hustle plays. That's Luckett crashing in on that just to tip it up and keep it alive. Luckett with the blow by again. Look at him. He can get to the rim anytime he wants to. Inside, Brown is fouled. He'll shoot two. That's Haynes' third foul. If it oh, is for me. That would be his third person with 16 foul. Shooting two would be on the 35, Octavius Brown. First shot for Brown is good. And for the Braves would be number 21, Stefan Raquel. One more coming up for Brown here, and he gets the roll. Nine and a half to go with 17-point lead again for Alcorn as Brown leads all scorers now with 18. It's hard for the UAPB to, to chip into that, that Alcorn State lead. They've managed to get it down to 13, and the Alcorn jack it back up to 17. Layup by Mosley, no good. The tip by Whiting wouldn't go, and... Alcorn's got the ball up 17. And they'll be content here with this big lead to work the clock a little bit. Good ball moving by the Braves. Lucky to come out high and get it with five on the shot clock. Rise and fire and hits. Nicely done. He's a good looking He's athlete. Yes. Love it. Mosley gets it back, goes to the rim, no good. Tip is there. I believe they may give that to Jordan Brown, not sure. Haynes. Or they give it to Haynes. Yeah, from our angle, it looks like Jordan tipped it in. 52 35, 17 point lead for Alcorn with the basketball. Eight minutes to play. Vance nearly lost it. A 
Evans to luck it. Leans and hits, boy. Just uses his body so well he can make those difficult shots. Yeah. Luck it now with 16 in the game. And it feels like he's got about 30. Because half of those points were very difficult shots. Just feels like he's got more. Nice pass by Whiting and Brown looked like he was fouled, no call. Gives it to Haynes inside. He gets the shot blocked right at the rim. That's that length that all corners did have. Now they may be the surprise team this year. After watching them, they, they, they're going to give a lot of teams problems. They could be the surprise team of the conference. Yeah, you're right about that. That sneaks in that top three spot. Long three for Evans, no good. 19 point lead for Alcorn, UAPB with the ball here, 6.50 to play and just no life for UAPB right now. Just kind of going through the motions a little bit. Crossover, Hammond, a difficult pass. Foul call with 12 on the shot clock. I believe we're going to have a media timeout here. Foul is on number 30. We'll step Marcus aside with 6.32 to play. And all corn in control media leading timeout. UAPB by a score of 54 to 35. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to make some juice. It's going to be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on line. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Try Challenge it. your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay. Like it. All right. They might surprise you. I actually took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. 6.32 to play. 54.35, a stunner here tonight, Alcorn. Opening up a huge second half lead. They led by 13 at the break and they have not allowed UAPB to get any closer than 13 here in the second half as the lead's at 19 right now with 6.32 to go. One and one, Hammond hits the first. He'll get one more. Hammond gets and it's good. both free throws. Alcorn State has that 17 point spread. Down low, Morris misses the reverse layup. UAPB will push it ahead. Hammond to Whiting, trying to get it inside to Floyd and knocked out of bounds by Alcorn. Boyd's got it. Handed off to Mosley. Here's Whiting driving in the lane. Nowhere to go and turns it over. Kind of got sucked into a little trap there and last second had nowhere to go with it and threw it away. So Alcorn will work the clock here, leading by 17 with 5.45 to go. Luckett's going to get called for the charge this time. It's about the only thing he's done wrong tonight. I know Coach Ivory you know, can't be pleased with the way this ball coach has performed tonight. It will be his third personal team foul. It just seems like the Golden Lions just haven't been able to get into any kind of rhythm tonight. Very lethargic. The only spurt that was given was that seven... Seven runs spurt by Marcel Mosley. Step back 15 footer is good. Daniel. By Daniel Brock. That's his shot. He will square up to that basket, knock that sucker down. He, he really will. 
And when he, once he finds that sweet spot really, really at the elbow. Yeah, he'll hit about four or five in a row. Inside Oakley is fouled. He's going to shoot two. 54-39, 5.06 to go. Fouls on number 23, Giovanni Robinson. That will be a second personal, 17 foul. Shooting two will be number two, Twan Oakley. First shot is good for Oakley. He's had a pretty good ball game tonight. He's got nine in the game. And he's got the second one. So lead back to 17 here. Five minutes to go. Broughton kicks it out. Robinson for three, in and out, no good. Tipped out and taken by, let's see, still loose. Haynes got it and he's gonna be fouled. You know, Robinson was pretty much like a pinpoint G Giovante Robinson, rather, the true freshman for the goal line. He was like, he averaged about 21 points a game as a high school senior. Shooting the double bonus will be number Has an three, excellent Devon shooting touch Haynes. from the outside, but he has made the draw iron at all tonight. First shot is good for Haynes. And the first free throw is good. And for the Golden Lions, number 21, Chandler Savage. Four forty-eight to go. All corn in control. Second free throw, no good. 56-40, 16-point lead for the Braves. Evans nearly turned it over himself, but unforced. Here's Luck at the lob and the big time jam again by Brown, Octavius, Octavius Brown. Brown. Yeah, Tori, Brown and Luck, that's a, that's like a, a one-two punch for the, for the Braves. And they've been having fun. It's been Lob City tonight. Yeah, it has been. Here's Mosley in the lane, the kick out. Robinson spots up for three, no good. Got to make those. Wide open look at him, and he's just struggling. He's off. Coach and staff just kind of looking at each other like they can't buy a bucket. Yeah. He's, he's wide open look. Yeah, Robinson too good a shooter to go ice cold. And McIntyre being in a leg brace over there, he's going to have to step up. Step back three for Oakley, and right now Alcorn is running away with it. Yeah, they are. 61-40 with 3.43 to play, and you may see George Ivory clear his bench here. Here's Mosley. Nice take, but a miss. Robinson gets it back. His floater in the lane, no good. Brown has the rebound. And it is ice cold city. Yeah, it really is. The goal line is just struggling mightily. Three minutes to go. And Alcorn in full control. Luckett step back three. Are you kidding me? This guy is white hot right yeah. now. And he's got 19 in the game. And Alcorn is just on another level right now. I mean, there ain't nothing they can't, they just can't miss. And this is. This is one of those humbling games media for UAPB. It's a media yeah. timeout. We'll step aside. UAPB students, just a reminder. 64-40, 24-point lead as Alcorn's running this away with it here with 2.49 to play play in the game. Here. Back in a moment. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. Stadium between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. weekdays.
Back in the action here, 64 to 40 with two and a half to go. All Alcorn here tonight. It's, they Ooh. served up a little humble pie to UAPB here. And these are tough to swallow anywhere, especially on your home court. He has been a, a lucky and brown show. Yeah, going for the dunk as the shot clock was winding down and a missed dunk by Brown. And they're just playing loose. UAPB not so much. Haynes off the little floater goes. Big one, Haynes. 64-42 now. It's all just mathematical as yeah. the clock starts to wind down. The Golden Lions are still playing hard, though. Absolutely. And timeout being called by Alcorn up 22 with a buck 38 left. Timeout. No good for us. Yeah, I think at this point now that Alcorns will just try to eat up a little clock with not look for a shot. Has it been a pretty performance for the Golden Lions tonight? <laughs> Yo, as they, as they come back after this timeout. Tevin Hammond is just shaking his head. And really, the Golden Lions are really going small with Devontae Hayes. It's definitely a head shaker tonight. Long three with 15 on the shot clock. Why not? Oakley dials up another one. And boy, they cannot miss. Oakley now has got 16. Lucky with 19. Brown with 20. And there's your big three right there. Yeah. 67 to 42. Inside, and Haynes gets the bucket. Haynes leading the way. He's got 23 now for UAPB. Well, like you said, Tim, Alcorn State might be one of those surprise teams in the conference this year. Yeah, if they play like this, they're going to be the best team. But can they sustain, you know, this type of a performance? It's yet to be seen, but they uh, are good looking. Good looking ball club. And they're going to win some games, no question. Very athletic. They match up well with size and good perimeter play. And tonight was just one of those nights, just not UAPB's night, but the Golden Lions are going to be a team to be reckoned with also. Sure. But some of that is Alcorn played so well. Sometimes it's not your night because the other team just plays better than you on that night. And that I think that team. was the case tonight. Jeffers, Alcorn, UAPB kind of licking their wounds, five. coming off of a tough four-point loss against undefeated Red Southern Red in conference team. play and then kind of got – Popped right in the mouth here tonight early on and we're not able to recover. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And all Alcorn's been good from the free throw line. As far as offensive, hitting the offensive glass, coming up with all the loose balls. It just wasn't UAPB's night. Couple of free throws there for Devontae Hampton. 69 44, a 25 point lead. Here's Haynes in the lane, shot up, no good. Whistle on a foul with 38 seconds left. He'll shoot two more. He's got 23 in the game to lead all scores. Well, you look at that UAPB bench, it's a Dejected bench. They know that they are a lot better than 44 points. Wow, they're just struggling mighty from the, from the free throw line. We don't have any update stats and updated stats in front of us, but it was surprised me to go around the shot better than 60% from the free throw line. 69-45, 38 seconds left, and luck it to Oakley, and really no reason to foul and no reason to do anything. Just let them run the clock out. Let's get this one over with.
Down to 12 on the shot clock here as we're winding down the final seconds. Down to four. Nance will shoot it and make it, of course. And that's going to be the ball game when they inbound it here. 71-45, the final. And you don't get any hotter than Alcorn was here tonight. They led by 13 at halftime and outscored UAPB by 13 in the second half and win by 26. They don't get much more consistent than that. No, Alcorn State played really a complete ball game and caught UAPB on one of those off nights. We like to also thank the Pilot High School team and my DJ over here. Now, Coach Ivory. George Ivory getting into it a little bit. We'll, we'll wrap things up with that. Yeah. So, getting a little chippy after the game. There's, there's something he didn't like. 71 45 is the final. We appreciate all of our help from our crew here this evening and for Carl Wimper I'm gonna call it a night I'm still <laughs> subs and it's been a long one 71 45 Alcorn runs away with this one but Golden Lions will see better days for sure <laughs>